Gathered together on Christmas Eve was the Baxter family. It was a tradition that the whole family gathered together every Christmas Eve at Grandma and Grandpa Baxter's house. But the spirit of Christmas seemed to be lacking. Even though the grown-ups were making gingerbread houses, decorating the Christmas tree, and cooking a special Christmas dinner for the family, the children in the house were too busy for any Christmas tradition. They were playing video games, glued to their phones, and trying to sneak a peek at their Christmas presents early. Finally, Grandma Baxter had enough. She took their cell phones away, unplugged their video game console, and scolded anyone trying to open their gifts early. She sent all the kids upstairs to book quietly in the attic until dinner was ready. Did you see the size of my present? The box is so small. I can't believe we got our cell phones taken away. What could even fit in a box that small? They unplugged my PlayStation. How am I supposed to show all my friends what I'm getting for Christmas without my cell phone? You're not just supposed to unplug the console in the middle of gameplay. I was winning too. I had the highest score of everyone. My life is ruined. I asked for the new Harry Potter Lego chess set. I'll be lucky if there's even one Lego in that small box. You guys are supposed to be reading up here quietly. I don't want to read. Let's do something else. Like what? Without our cell phones, there's literally nothing else to do. You guys hear that? Yeah. I kind of heard something. What if it's a ghost? Ghosts aren't real. Just grab a cloak and read before Grandma Baxter comes up and scolds us again. There's that noise. It sounds like bells. Maybe Santa's here. Santa? Did you bring me my PlayStation 5 I've been asking for? <laughs> it's not Santa. The sound is coming from this board game. Let me see that. The native, the native. And this is why reading is important. The game is called the Nativity Journey. The Nativity Journey? What kind of game is it? Should we open it? As the Baxter children opened the game, they took out the board and saw that the game came with eight characters to choose from. Three kings, four shepherds, and one sheep. The sound of jingle bells continued to ring, getting progressively louder as they started to choose their characters. Ooh, look at all those angels on the board. I want to play as an angel. You can't play it as, a, as an angel. You can only be a king, a shepherd, and a sheep. I guess I'll be a king then. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'd rather be on my phone, but if I have to choose, I guess I can be a shepherd. Why aren't there any queens in this game? Just be a shepherd with us, Susie. Fine. If we're too loud, we might not be able to open our presents. We should straight up like Grandma told us. Come on, Amy. Play with us. Yeah, we won't be loud. I promise. Ugh, fine. But I'm not going to be a sheep. I'll be a shepherd. I'll take the last king. I'll take the last shepherd, then. And that leaves me with the sheep? I don't want to be a sheep. Gary, trade with me. No way. Does anyone want to trade with me? No! Suddenly, a bright light in the shape of a star shoots out of the box. The attic erupts into a heavy wind. The wild wind swirls around the room, knocking down boxes, tugging at their clothes, and dropping objects. Dance! What did you just do? That wasn't me! It feels like a tornado here! 
What's going on? Brace yourself! The three boys, Gary, Lance, and Troy, realize they are not in Grandma Baxter's attic anymore. Instead, they find themselves in the desert, dressed as kings. What just happened? Where are we? Why are you guys dressed like that? We're all dressed like kings. Like the characters we chose from the board game? Not fair. You are in Bethlehem. The board came and says you to tell a special story. Your task is to collect gold, frankincense, and myrrh. You are to take these gifts and follow the star. Once you get there, you will find the king of all people, the one who forever be recognized as our savior. Time out. How do you expect us to get all these gifts? Yeah, aren't gold, frankincense, and myrrh expensive? We don't have that kind of money. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> we can't tell you guys. Where's the fun in that? Just trust us, follow the star. Wait, don't go. You didn't give us much to go on. Can you just take us back home? I don't want to play anymore. The angel said follow the star. Well, which star? It's got to be that one. Look how big and bright it is. You're right. Let's follow it. As the kings followed the brightest star in the sky, they came across a merchant selling just what they needed. Do you guys see what he's selling? Hello, sir. We're wondering if we could buy a gold, frankincense, and myrrh. What are you willing to trade for those items? Three kings such as yourselves you must have something good to offer. Uh, I got five dollars. I don't have any money. I got fifty cents. Uh, what can five dollars and fifty cents get us, sir? Uh, I don't want your green paper. Do you take me for a fool? Guys, he won't take our money. What are we going to do? Hey! What's that on your arm? What is it? Is it a book? Get it up! Get it up! Relax. I think he's talking about your watch. Oh, my watch? Do you like it? My parents paid 200 for it. I've never seen a contraption such as this before. I'll trade you the gold, frankincense, and myrrh for this. Deal. Deal. But, but... We got what we needed. We finished our task. But, but... That was my favorite watch! Everyone was so jealous of that watch! Out of all things, why did it have to be my favorite watch? Do you want to go home or not? The angel said we have to give our gifts to the savior of the world. Yeah, I guess you're right. This savior guy must be really important or something. Let's go find the other. I bet the star will lead us to them. And together we can all go meet him. This way.
kings, the four shepherds, Amy, Sally, Susie, and Sammy, realize they too are not in Grandma Baxter's house. If you guys had just sat down and read a book like we were told, none of this would have happened. Look at us. What are we wearing? Where are we? Well, I know for certain we're not at Grandma Baxter's house anymore. And this is why I need my cell phone. If I had my cell phone, we wouldn't be in this mess. Um, uh, no. If you had stayed off your cell phone and helped around the house for Christmas, we wouldn't be in this situation. It seems like the shepherds need our help. Ah! This time it actually is close! Those are angels! Welcome to Bethlehem. The Lord Gang has chosen you to retell a very special and important story. We are here to give you your task. Your objective is to herd your sheep, and follow the star, and find the savior of the world. But we don't have any sheep. The star will guide them. How are we supposed to herd sheep if we don't have any? And who is the savior of the world? The star will guide you. So we are in Bethlehem, where an angel told us to get our sheep, follow the star, and find the savior of the world. Does none of this sound absolutely insane to you? I'm really hoping this is just a dream and I'll wake up soon. There's no place at home, there's no place at- Ah! Oh, what was that for? This is not the Wizard of Oz for Alice in Wonderland, and you're not dreaming. Yeah, Sammy, snap out of it. Now let's find those goats and get up here. Sheep, the angel said we have to find our sheep. Same difference. Let's go.
Harry finds himself alone, cold, and confused. Unlike the rest of the players, no angel has come to help Harry or give him a task. Why did I have to do this to you? I just want to find my family and go home. Harry has been knocking from door to door, trying to find anybody willing to help, but all have turned him away. Excuse me, sir. I'm lost and I don't know my family. We started playing this board game, and now, and now I'm here, and back. Go away, sheep. Give it my end. Go on, go. Once again, Harry was rejected and turned away. It was then that he noticed the stable full of farm animals. At least I found shelter. Harry's been knocking from door to door, trying to find anybody willing to help, but all have turned him away. Please, sir, my wife and I are expecting a child. Do you have any room for us? First, a smelly sheep, and now you. Can't you eat the sign? There's no more room. Now go away and stop knocking on my door. Did that guy just call me smelly? I can understand how he can turn down a sheep, but how can anyone turn away two people who need help? Hey, hey, there's room in the stable. If you don't mind, all the bah. I think the sheep is inviting us to the stable. What a kind sheep. I'll go find some blankets for them. It's the least that I can do. have both followed the stars to the land of Bethlehem. They still haven't found each other yet. The three kingsmen look around Bethlehem to find the four shepherds. Gary, Lance, Troy, is that you guys? Yes, this is all of us. Where have you guys been? I don't know. All of a sudden we were here, some angels told us to follow a star. It's going to lead us to the savior of the world. That's what we're doing. What do you think he's going to look like? He's probably going to be super tall with a sword or something. Yeah, the strongest guy in all the land. And don't forget to keep an eye out for a sheep. Oh yeah, we have to find one before to meet the savior. Hey, you guys see that over there? It's, it's a, a sheep! Quick, grab it!
better not try to run away from us. Don't scare it, guys. What? You guys, I've been looking for you. You have no idea how difficult it's been. Guys, is it just me? Or did that sheep just talk? That sheep sounds very familiar. Can it be? Is that Perry? Perry, where have you been? There was a couple who got turned away by an innkeeper. We've got to help them. Do any of you guys have blankets? Would these work? Yes, that would be perfect. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to go help them. But what about finding the Savior? The angel told us to find our sheep and bring it to the Savior in order for us to go home. I think helping others should come first. Don't you all agree? Yeah, you're right, Lance. Lead the way, Perry. This way, guys. Follow me. back to the barn where they found angels waiting for them. Oh, are those angels? You did it! You found the Savior! We did? Where is he? The Blessed Virgin Mary holds the baby in her arms. You're telling me the Savior is a newborn baby? Well, would you look at that? He's marvelous! I expected him to be a bit taller. What's his name? His name is Jesus. He is our King and our Savior. We've traveled far to bring you these gifts. This little baby has taught us the true meaning of Christmas. I feel bad for the way we treated our family earlier. Yeah, when we get home, let's make things right. Your time with us is about to end. Are you guys ready? Yes, please, take us home.
love began to shine brighter and brighter, and the sound of bells filled the air once again. The stars shone so bright that everyone had to cover their eyes. By the time they were able to open their eyes, the group found themselves back in the attic. They could hear the faint sounds of Grandma Baxter calling them down. We're back in the attic? We're home! I'm not a sheep anymore! Grandma Baxter called out to them once more. You guys have been so quiet and good. You all can open presents before dinner tonight. Open presents? I don't even want to open presents right now. Yeah, I don't either. After everything we just witnessed, I don't think presents are that important right now. We should ask to go to Midnight Mass tonight, instead of opening presents. It is Jesus' birthday after all. I think that's way more important than opening some presents. Yeah, I agree. Christmas isn't about the things you get. It's about celebrating the birth of Jesus with the ones we love. The kids all walked down to the, to the living room to see Grandma Baxter standing next to a tree surrounded by a mountain of presents of all shapes and sizes. Grandma Baxter, we're thankful for these gifts and all, but we're wondering if we could have a meal and go to Midnight Mass instead. Grandma Baxter was so proud of them for asking, and so the Baxter family drove off in their cars to Midnight Mass in honor of our Savior's birth. And this, my friends, is the true meaning of Christmas. Join them as well. 